ever just scroll Twitter looking for something interesting? You find something vaguely interesting, and then it's not interesting at all, but you still fall down a rabbit hole that lasts you three hours? That's how I spent my night last night. I fell down a hole on Twitter, and I found this game called Candyland. It looked, you know, somewhat interesting, so I played the trailer. And, you know, I created this place. it's a fine trailer. It shows an animatronic girl that's very popular now, thanks to Five Nights at Freddy's. There's, like, a little voiceover. It shows creepy, like, images, but doesn't really show any gameplay. doesn't really show anything at all. So I got bored, and I clicked off. And then I was thought I was done with Candyland and I would never hear about that game again until it came out and Matt Pat made a video about it on Game Theory. That was until I saw a retweet from Scott Cawthorn Medias. If you don't know who Scott Cawthorn is, he's the guy who made Five Nights at Freddy's. So I thought it was very interesting that he would retweet it. So I continued reading. I'll try to find if I can contact Dave Steele, the voice actor of Henry and Freddy Fosbear Pizza Simulator. Such a weird name of a game, but sure. I'm positive he wouldn't want his likeness to be used like that and would really much be inclined to sue these guys. Well, shit. I mean, I know the game looks like your game, but suing them immediately off the rip off of a single quote retweet on the trailer for the first time of a brand new game. That's a little insane, Scott. That's a little crazy. And then I watched the video again. And apparently this voice. I was inspired by one thing is an AI voice. Joy. Which, if you don't know, the use of AI in media, specifically in movies right now, is being deeply striked by the Writers Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild. So it's super freaking cringe that a video game company would use an AI voice actor with all of that going on. Pay your artists. They're working really hard. That includes me. If you guys could come to twitch.tv slash scootish later, that'd be freaking amazing maybe drop a subscription that would help me out a lot so you know pay your artists <laughs> shilling aside I, I i heard that i read about it and then i was like wait if this is the guy that made the games why does he not have dave's email accessible to him why is he tweeting about it like this other than just the slander of the company so then i did some research on this twitter account and this is a fan account. This is not C Scott Cawthorn's Twitter. This is just a random fan that really enjoys Scott's work and has liked the work from the age of 2014. That's insane that <laughs> this is, is happening. Uh, but they found the email and they emailed Dave. And I was like, damn, if fans of Five Nights at Freddy's are going after this company, I need to figure out what the evil, insidious... Five Nights at Said Freddy like company business is running Candyland. So I Googled more and I learned that all of these animations are being made by a guy named Golden Lane Studio, who seems to have a very big resemblance in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe, has made a couple of Five Nights at Freddy's uh, videos, and he's animating like episodes of Candyland that they're each two minutes long. None of them very scary, just vaguely creepy. They show the, the that horror things can happen in the world, but nothing horror has really happened yet. So I thought, do people just not like it because it's, it's lame? Is it like, just like a lame property? Cause that's kind of what I, that's kind of what I think. I feel like all it is, is it looks pretty. There's no voice. There's no real like good music from it. So it's really just got the graphics going for it. There's no story from what I can tell. It just looks pretty and looks vaguely scary like you know when your mom decorates a christmas or uh, no, christmas oh my god christmas is not supposed to be scary you know when your mom decorates like your house for halloween and she like tries to make it scary but then it's like there's like a pumpkin with like a big smiley face and there's like a friendly witch you know like it's not scary at all that that's kind of what i get from candyland right now maybe it'll get scary when the game comes out i don't know i still saw no reason to hate them so much to try to get them sued and then I finally found the golden ticket. I found their OpenSea page. That's right. It's an NFT scam. And God, it's there. I don't get these. Why are we still doing this in 2023? You can get various different NFT creatures. You can get a, the kangaroo character, the toucan guy, a guy with a sword in his head, and a, a, a woman. You, you can get a woman NFT. And 
but they they those seem to be the four main characters of Candyland. That those are their IP characters, their IP properties, and it looks like they're using this as a way to source the money for the animations, for the game, and and so on and so forth. And people in the comments really want you to know, like, the NFTs are the same thing as doing a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe. To me, not so much, but, you know, sure, get... I, I don't know. I like uh, NFTs are just so skeevy and so gross. There's so much lost money in them that it feels worse than doing Kickstarter. And they could just do Kickstarter to generate money to make their games. Anyway, the story ends with the fan account finding Dave's email and they emailed him and they let him know and he's going to talk to his attorneys and who knows there might be a Candyland suit. Who freaking knows? I, I don't know. I'm not aware but that's why AI voices aren't really used in media because you're arguing who has the rights to that, you know? Like, should Dave get paid? Should he not get paid? I personally think he should, but, you know, I've seen a lot of people argue, no, he shouldn't get paid. He didn't do anything. No, he just stole and yanked his voice. I think he absolutely should get compensated. It's the weirdest drama I've ever experienced in my life, but I just wanted to go on, go ahead and share this I don't even want to call it juicy. This fascinating story with you. I would stay away from Candyland until they get rid of AI voices. The NFT thing, if the game's good enough, maybe you can look past it. I don't know. I probably won't, but, you know, I that's because I think FNAF is silly. I pointed at the wrong board, but, you know, whatever. Hey, that's the story. If you guys liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe. It would help out a lot. I just, you know, wanted to share this story with you. I thought it was fun. thought it was interesting. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. I'll see you on Twitch. Tonight's Monkey Monday. See you there.